Man, I forgot how much I like it when I'm told how terrible I am whenever we lose a game. It's such a nice difference from how boring the series is if we ever win. It's so... I love it. Uh, I can't wait. I'm so glad to be back on Giants franchise. And I'm excited to play the Bears here in week two following a 30-24 to defeat over the New Orleans Saints. Today, we are facing a very talented quarterback. Of course, in real life, had maybe the best game of his career against the Dolphins. Very focused around his running ability, but did make some very nice throws in there as well. And he may do the same today with the addition of Terry McLaurin. Justin Fields, of course, is their quarterback. David Montgomery and Khalil Herbert in the backfield. Johnny Stanton at fullback. Receivers, scary Terry. Darnell Mooney is gone, but they did bring in Jacoby Myers as well. Nate Vickers, who was either a first or second round pick in last year's draft, ends up with star development. Really didn't play at all in 2023. Has one catch here uh, last week in year number two, and he was a second round pick, but very close to the top. Cornell Powell in there as well. Tight end is Dawson Knox in from Buffalo. Adam Troutman from the Saints we played last week. Jerron Christian Sr. is their left tackle. Maybe Andre Dillard will play somewhere. Cody Whitehair at left guard. Eric Brown at center. Right guard is the former giant, Will Hernandez, and Tevin Jenkins at right tackle. So we are not going to see Andre Dillard play. That's for sure. And Cody Whitehair, of course, the longtime bear now. Left end is Travis Gibson. Right end is Robert Quinn, of course, has not traded uh, has not been traded to the Eagles in this scenario. Dominique Robinson. They're... Defensive tackle is the former Eagle, Javon Hargrave. However, he's injured. So the rookie that I targeted in the draft that we couldn't end up drafting because of all the glitches was Jervante Matthews. He's going to play quite a bit today. 79 finesse moves along with 79 speed is something to look out for. But we should be able to run the ball on them successfully. They also have Eddie Hemsley. He absolutely was a first round pick in the previous year. He was at the very top, if I recall as well. And he's not bad with 85 finesse moves. Middle linebacker is Drew Tranquil. Alan Lucas was a super athlete as well. I remember him in the draft. 93 speed middle linebacker is unbelievable. He's even faster than Derek Cooper. 75 finesse moves as well. With the swim move and spin move trade, Alan Lucas is a player. And an outside linebacker and a more pass rush heavy defense, he could be really good. Alan Lucas really interesting player. Bears almost certainly misusing him. Roquan Smith just traded to the Ravens in real life, but still on the Bears here. And their corners, Amani Oruarie, Lions franchise legend from a year ago. Cam Dantzler, Emmanuel Mosley, Kyler Gordon. Pretty good depth at corner, I would say overall. Free safety is Eddie Jackson with Jaquan Brisker at strong safety. Jalen Johnson, I think, ended up signing with the Steelers. If you were wondering what he was up to, and we do play the Steelers pretty soon. And we'll get to see for the first time Bryson Hendricks, who we were very close to drafting. He does have superstar X Factor, by the way. Very, very good player. But we don't see them, I think, until like week three or four. But we will be playing them. Yeah, week three. It's coming up next week. Let's go ahead and pop into the weekly strategy before we play Chicago. Man. Justin Fields' deep passing is 118.7, only after one week. So I'm not going to read too much into that. And I guess we'll try to throw it deep. 118.7. Was that the same number? I don't know. We'll do the same thing. And these are our players in the focus group. Oh, focus group. That's something else. But you know what I'm saying. We'll simulate training. Hope for no injuries. Offense looks to be good. And they are. And then the defense appears to be good as well from a preliminary glance. And they also are. So offense and defense ready to go. Excited to see the challenge that the Bears will pose. Let's get into the game. Oh, we have upgrades. The upgrades are for the rookie linebacker, John Boss, who I'm pretty excited about. He played quite a bit in week one. I think that trend might continue. A lot of special teams as well. He has swim move, spin move, and bull rush. So Three pass rush traits for someone with not great power or finesse moves, but he's a pretty good player in zone coverage. However, his block shedding is really, really low. We're going to try and make him 
more well balanced if he's going to see the field a little bit more. Block shedding goes up, tackling goes up. I think two very good upgrades for him, but he's more of a cover linebacker, I would say. And then Xavier McKinney, I think we're just going to go zone coverage. He did get injured in real life, of course, because the Giants can never have anything good. Plus two zone coverage is great, up to an 88 right now, but broken hand in real life with an ATV accident. Gotta be kidding me. Ooh, it's a Monday night game. Giants, Bears. Saquon Barkley with a 100-yard game in his first game of the season. Had a rushing touchdown as well. But we gotta watch out for this guy. Justin Fields could be really good. We already know what Terry McLaurin can do. This is a very talented team. And I think it's kind of weird to say that because we're... A little bit used to the Bears not being so good of late, but you have to account for David Montgomery and Justin Fields, obviously, Scary Terry on defense. They've got a couple of players in there as well, Roquan Smith, Eddie Jackson. You know, this could be a decent team, and we are looking for that first win. Losing in week one, something I didn't want to do, obviously. We're trying to make the playoffs here. A week one loss isn't the end of the season, obviously, but it just get things it gets things off to a poor start. And that's not what we want to do. So getting our record to 500 with a win here tonight is paramount. Let's get into it. I also changed Wyatt Anthony's uh, kick thing, his, his superstar ability, which I never checked, by the way. I got, oh, you got to read it. You read it, then you won't be confused. I never even thought about what a superstar kicker ability would be. Uh, and then when I realized it was going slow, I, okay, I'm like, that's focus kicker. I knew that from a year ago or two or whatever. But I didn't know they changed it this year to only under 45 yards. So I think I put on, like, always show the kicking arc. I think that's the one I chose. But hopefully we don't have to see it too much today because I don't really want to be kicking too much. Maybe extra points, but... Let's focus on scoring touchdowns and let's focus on winning the game. Bears gonna start out of the eye form. Fields under center, multiple tight ends in. This should be a run and it looks like it will be. And Montgomery fighting for yards. Cobb wrestles him down, but it's a very good start to the Bears game. Eight yards from David Montgomery. And we will see a rotation of linebackers between Bost and Claiborne. Cobb is gonna be Probably the guy that's always out there, as I'm sure you guys will not be shocked to find out. It's going to count as a pass for Fields. Little uh, jet pass. Their offense is moving. Second and one. Is this a run? It's play action! And the rookie's going to take down Justin Fields. John Bost blasting up the middle with a huge play. Surely the biggest of his young career so far. Never got off of Fields. Kayvon Thibodeau read it as well. And that's the type of thing we love to see. Linebackers playing aggressive. We know what the Bears are going to want to do. And it's get Fields in space. Run some play action. Boss was there all the way. Third and ten now. Got to take care of McLaurin. Fields going to take off though. And slide in front of McKinney. He'll be short of the first down. And from the 44, it looks like the Bears will punt. So, good defense. Things were looking a little bad, but that's why, you know, a play like that from John Boss is so huge. Get away! Oh my goodness, dude. I think when you switch on, they try to go for the ball no matter what. I'm holding forward, and they just... Uh, let me catch it! And we're going to start with bad field positioning uh, instead of being on the 20. So, uh, unlucky, but I got to remember that if it switches on, uh, it doesn't let you control it anymore. You'd think, oh, switch on, I would control the player. No, no, you switch on and they do whatever they want to do, which is catch the ball at the freaking one, the half yard line, and now we're backed up to our own six and he looks like punter of the year when that thing was destined for the end zone. Let's go, Saquon. Get us out of this. Get us out of this jam. That's just pretty good defense. There is a flag, though. I should mention, I believe we're back in our offense that we were in last year. And I'll be interested to see what the uh, Bears decide here. They're going to back us up to second and 10. So they're basically saying that we can't get five yards on this play. And I think we can. I think we can. Nope. I, I didn't want to go there. I, 
I, I panicked. I panicked. I'm not going to lie to you. Yeah, fancy that. Imagine me making a mistake playing a video game. Unreal. We go to Larry Smith here. Oh, that's a beautiful ball from Cody Bailey. Love it. Larry Smith over the middle. Chain mover. Yeah, things got dicey. It's just like... If you make a mistake, if you're a second off, you can't force the ball. You got to go a different way. I mean, it easily could have been an interception as the rookie Beck will carry it for a few. Zach Beck. And let's take a look at our draft class. A couple linebackers again. Former teammate of Dontrell Cobb there at the back end of the first round and Caleb Clayboard. The Alabama linebacker John Boss in the second, of course, our first round pick on defense as well. The free safety Glenn Gore. Really excited to see what he can do as we're going to check down to Saquon Barkley. It's what I tried to do on that second and 10. But uh, I just, you know, I, I saw the slant was open and I, I couldn't get it for whatever reason. Just mentally, I, I couldn't bring myself to throw that slant. And on third and one, the tight end is wide open. It's Nick Duvall. That'll be a first down and more. Working off play action. Looks like this is a blitz. We're going to throw back across. Don't have the time. The blitz gets in. It's Roquan Smith registering the quarterback sack on Cody Bailey. I thought it was a good time to work off play action, but they just sent too many. And uh, that overload from that right side really just hurt us. Second and 21. Little check down to Nick Duvall. Love to see that. That's another 10-yard gain for him. And I think if we get two more of those, we unlock his X-Factor ability, which is um, grab and smash. That could be fun. And on third and eight, who knows? He might get another uh, target. That's exactly what's going to happen. He's open. And Nick Duvall's got another Giants first down. This is why I prefer this offense. The tight end is way more involved, at least as a receiver. And we don't have that great blocking tight end with Nick Duvall. He's fine. But where he really excels is as a receiver down the field. The other offense, we'll say it's the George Kittle offense. It's blocking. It's occasionally being a fixture in the passing offense, as Barkley will carry for a few. But it's really more about running the football. And we do that, and I like to do that. But I like getting Nick Duvall involved downfield. He's a mismatch. We want to take advantage of that. And this offense just is better suited for his abilities, I think. His Larry Smith check down will give us another first down. And I also feel like this is just a way more balanced offense. Uh, we're able to, to get things going as Cody Bailey's going to take off. You run man coverage. You don't account for the quarterback. And Vanilla Vic has a rushing touchdown. Cody Bailey for six. Yeah, man. I mean, they just ran man coverage across the field. Guess who they didn't account for? That quarterback. And Cody Bailey recognizes the cover one. Dices it up. And, uh, yeah. Gets a big play as a result. Usually don't see too many of those. Yeah, Cody Bailey scrambles a few times a game. Maybe nothing crazy. Came on Thibodeau's on special teams. As is Khalil Herbert returning kicks. But that's an awesome play. What a spark for the offense. Defense coming back out. Played well, but I'd love to see them play even better as the Bears are going back under center. Multiple tight ends. Pull back in a motion across, and it will be a run across. I think we filled okay. Caleb Claiborne, the rookie out of Notre Dame, makes the tackle. And you will hear me say that a lot. I love to reference the rookies for you guys so you really know who these new players are. If you missed a few episodes and say, who is John Bost? Well, he's in right now, and he's on the ground. As David Montgomery will pick up the first. And that is the end of the first quarter. It's too early to say anything right now, either way. We've both had one drive, both, you know, maybe not both fairly long drives, but we had a fairly long drive and it resulted in points, of course. Bears were not so lucky, but they are back to about midfield here. And they're gonna try and throw for the running back, David Montgomery, and he's gonna make a spin move past the rookie, Glenn Gore out of Oregon, and continue fighting for yards. Uh, I believe we were in man coverage with Claiborne on the running back. We just didn't get out there quickly enough, plain and simple. And, uh, yeah, rookie mistake by the rookie Claiborne. He's not really the cover guy that Bost is. Trying to take things away. And then Glenn Gore. I mean, he's more of a cover guy, not really as much of a physical tackler at this point in his career. Back here at free safety. And uh, he just could not bring down David Montgomery in space. He'll get better in that 
but right now it's a little bit weak. As you can see, another issue of weakness with these rookies. Bost really not much in the run game. Was getting blocked there, but Dontrell Cobb comes up to clean it up. Third and two. Check down and down at the four. It's going to be fourth and one. Bears are a yard short, and they're lining up to go for it. The better run defender, Claiborne, coming in. Bears with a fullback. We've seen that a few times. And they will run it up the gut, and down goes Montgomery. Turnover on downs. The Giants make the big fourth down stop. And I would love to see a replay on that. We're not going to get one. We'll have to do it manually. I think that was number 97, Dexter Lawrence, getting into the backfield. Dontrell Cobb tried to shoot in there as well, but look at Dexter Lawrence just eating up space. That's all you have to do is that nose tackle. Lined up over the center. He takes away the center, stops the pulling guard, and just gets in the way. Simmons kind of controlled. Cobb ran past uh, David Montgomery. I'll take responsibility for that. I'm pressing tackle right there, but look at Dexter Lawrence just making a play. Everyone did their job. And yet yeah, we're in bad field positioning. But we started from the six yard line last drive and we came away with a touchdown. Let's do it again. Decent blocking and Saquon goes for five. Third down and four after a Barkley run. And we're gonna check down to Kadarius Tony. Never a bad idea underneath. Does get the first down. We're gonna get a little bit crazy here. Try a Nick Duval screen. And the Bears were all over that. Uh, we just really didn't have time to let that develop. Also, that's that's a play that's going to be more effective against zone coverage, and that was a that was a man defense that we faced. We we'll try to go for Odell. Would have been a nice catch in traffic there. We gave him a chance. Could have been things way more open. I wanted Barkley out of the backfield, but just didn't really see him get open in time. I guess that's not his fault. As we're just going to throw it away. Uh, I don't know. I. I, this can sound strange, strange for sure, but also great defense. They called cover three for that, and um, we had a bunch of routes going down the field. So, but I, I just really didn't even see anybody. I just kind of had the blinders on. I don't really remember checking out any of the routes, <laughs> let alone Saquon Barkley. So uh, just, just one of those plays where I got a little bit rushed and was not able to make the right play. Fields now out of empty. Kind of a big difference from what we've seen most of this game. And he's going to look to scramble and wisely slide underneath Cobb, who is coming with a vengeance for the quarterback. Cobb has not been able to bring him down a couple times now. As Montgomery will take that up the middle. And it's Gore and Akeel Edmonds who combine to bring him down. First and 12 after a hold. Gonna be a pitch. We gotta get the speed over there. John Boss can't bring him down, but Adoree Jackson does. Bears will get back to the line. Try to get a little bit creative there on first and long following the hold. Doesn't work out. Fields again from the gun. We'll look to throw, and it looks like he's gonna try and throw it quickly, but can't get it over the linebacker, Dontrell Cobb. It's easy reads. Green eggs and ham, and you can kiss the ring. The king of New York, Dontrell Cobb, with his first takeaway of the season. Two slants over the middle, two routes, two congested, two close together. Cobb takes away both of them and takes away the football. Vickers was right there, Cornell Powell right there, but wasn't enough. Giants football with the chance to go up by two scores. Let's get it, three and a half minutes to play. Might try to lean on this guy. It's not a great first run though. Never really like to run on second and long, and oftentimes I don't. I'm considering it here because of the lack of linebackers up the middle, and I think we will change. And take this right back up the middle. Saquon Barkley real close to the sticks, and he gets it. And this is the time where I would absolutely love to go play action and see if we can get those linebackers to bite. They don't. They read it the entire time, and we're going to throw for Odell Beckham Jr. and complete it along the sideline. Beckham can't stay in bounds following the catch, but it is a completion for Cody Bailey a reception for Beckham and that takes us to the two minute warning as we are knocking on the door scoring another touchdown following the big catch by Odell just putting Duvall down the field really distracts these guys they don't know what to do and we are able to hit Odell Beckham Jr. 
uh, underneath the safety. And we're going to throw for our big body tight end. And that sails out of the end zone. But we're okay with that. That's the chance you're taking there on first down. Just give them a chance and then figure it out on the uh, next few downs. You know, I like the matchup. It's Larry Smith. Concentration drop. And a big one. Because that probably sets up third and five at the worst. Instead now, this brings up third down and ten. We might take another chance here. Nick Duvall. Pass sales past him. Again, I like the matchup. I really, really do. I would do that again. Just give the big body tight end a chance. We've seen him, you know, so many times last year be really successful. And I don't have my kick meter. So I don't I don't know what I chose then. But the the kick meter, I think I, I, I should have set it going all the way. I don't know what I said. Maybe clutch kicker? I don't know. We'll check it after the game if I remember. We go up 10-0 following the wide Anthony field goal. Bears going to have a two-minute drill to try and get some points. Yeah. Um, I, I can't blame Larry Smith for one bad play, resulting in three points instead of seven, making this 14-0 as opposed to 10-0. But uh, you can't say the drop didn't cost us because, you know, third and five at the worst is a whole lot different than third and ten as Field's going to take off and once again slide. Oh, that's wide open. Where's the defense? Cornell Powell with the big game. We ran cover two. They just ran the perfect play for it. All right. They're getting wise with what they're doing. A minute and 18 to play. And Fields, is he going to try and take off? He will, sliding in front of a Dory Jackson. And finally call a timeout with a minute to play. Second down and seven. Fields again from empty, and they're just going to check down. Nate Vickers with the catch and takes a hit from Darnay Holmes, who's letting him know about it. 53 seconds to play here in the first half. Come on, linebackers, make a play. Make a play. Under pressure, Fields, and he's going to get sacked. Dexter Lawrence again with a big play. Right when we needed it. That's how you come out and make a stand. Dexter Lawrence playing some great football. And Fields under pressure. Barely gets the football away intended for the tight end Komet. It's third and 19. 15 seconds to play here in the first half. We're going to try and show blitz here. And if they want to check down, they can check down. Field's going to take a chance here. And that's going to be intercepted by Adoree Jackson. Vickers was the intended receiver. But Jackson looked more like the receiver on that one than Vickers did. Great awareness of where the boundary was. Is able to take the football away. Ensure that the Bears have no chance to get points before the end of the half. Great footwork. He, I don't want to say he was a two-way player at USC but uh, was more than just the typical corner. So, you know, he has, he has experience there uh, and great ball skills results in a really, really big play. However, don't know how much we're gonna be able to do off of it. Maybe we'll call a timeout, try to do something crazy. Second and inches, doesn't really matter at this point. Maybe we'll try to get Saquon uh, out on the wheel. Maybe no one covers him. Cody Bailey, trying to throw for Saquon. Yeah, I mean, just didn't have time to throw it unless we threw it on the run. That is the end of the first half. 10-0, interesting first half. I wish we had more points. I think our defense has played fairly well. And, I mean, maybe they haven't, to be honest. <laughs> maybe it's more so just the Bears not being able to capitalize on opportunities. Also a possibility. I'm not going to discount that. I think that's definitely possible. But uh, we'll continue that momentum, I think, and have a big second half. Let's get some points up. The former giant, Graham Gano will kick it back to the rookie, Greg Sheldon, who fights his way to the 22. And yeah, Graham Gano replaced by Wyatt Anthony. Didn't get to see him kick at the end of the half because Justin Fields threw that big interception. And 10-3 to is a very different ball game than 10-0, especially when you don't get the football to start the third quarter. So it's a really big Justin Fields interception. We're going to check down to Odell. Maybe had Nick Duvall down the field. 
we're going to take the guaranteed yardage there on first down. Maybe on third down, I think you go for a, for a Nick Duval there. Try to push the football down the field a little bit more. But in that spot, I'm, I'm comfortable just taking what we had. Quick throw. Kadarius Toney working his way down the field. It's another big gain for the Giant offense. The thing is, though, we've had a few big plays. We just really haven't been able to turn them into big points so far. We've only scored 10 and one half. Got to score more of those here in half number two. Decent block from Duvall, but the player he blocked ended up making the tackle. There's Odell again. Should be a first down, right? I think they're going to give it to him. Just a nice little check down there. Looks like Eddie Jackson. No, 18. Not Eddie Jackson. I know Roquan Smith is wearing 18 with the Ravens, right? Odd choice, I think. Just so weird. I, just Saquon was so open. Saquon was so open. He was so open. I know it. I saw it. Uh, you have to understand that the running back on the boundary there is not my first look. And I was already checking. I see it. I'm not going to see everything, guys. I know you think I'm uh, I, I'm going to be able to see everything somehow. Because I, I get, oh, B was open at uh, 1742. Uh, ah, uh, man. I, I would have seen that back going over the game film. Whatever. Listen, I, I made a mistake. It happens. Nick Duvall's caught. We're going to go to Larry Smith. Should be a first down. I will say, though, if we miss the touchdown, we don't score seven here, and we probably had a Saquon Barkley touchdown through the air, I'm going to be disappointed. because And if we end up losing at all, especially by a few points, man, that's going to sting. I think we are going to run... Mm, I really don't like this. We're going to try to get to slants. I wanted to run something with uh, with Saquon. I really wanted inside zone. There's a slant, and there's Larry Smith for the first down, and things are looking really good. First and goal from the two. There's nothing up the middle. I, it's going to Saquon. It's got to be six. How is it not? Gervonta Matthews is not a good block shutter. But maybe we ran right into where he was being blocked. It could be a me problem there. Third and goal. Who's getting open? Larry Smith dropped the ball, and we are not going to end up scoring a touchdown here. Chris Lindstrom is injured as well. We paid him big money in the offseason. I can't see the kicking meter at all, by the way. At least Wyatt Anthony hits a field goal. Ah. Uh, it seems like whenever I should be able to run the ball perfectly, I can never manage to do it. It's frustrating. It really is. It is only hip bursitis, though. We'll play it safe and substitute Joshua Zudu for now. Just to, uh, you know, limit how bad of an injury that can become. Ooh, a Dory Jackson in the zone, by the way. Because they're going to run right at Chase Claiborne. Aziz Ojolari was there. Dexter Lawrence always seems to be around the football was there as well. And it is third and four. What are they going to do? So many things to cover. Wow, Glenn Gore, not a tackler, huh? Juked out of his shoes by Cornell Powell. No disrespect to Cornell Powell, but come on, Glenn. Now, he hasn't been beat down the field. But I don't know how many times they've... Even tried that. Fields going cross body here. Montgomery pushed out of bounds by Dory Jackson. I would say that that's the most, or the, the biggest thing I'm surprised and impressed by is Dory Jackson's tackling ability. I feel like he's always so good in these one-on-one -on -one situations as they're going to take a deep shot down the field. Dory Jackson right attached to his hip pocket. I would say you can call that playing in phase there. Uh, Dory Jackson was certainly close enough. Ends up getting the pass breakup. Third and six for the Bears. They've been at midfield in these spots all game. Our defense just stayed strong and really not allowed them to convert too many. But they do this time. It's Jacoby Myers. First down, Chicago. Also, pretty much no pressure in this game. Let's quick throw outside to Vickers. And Claiborne can't bring him down. Glenn Gore ends up with the tackle. They took advantage of the mismatch there. We ran a man blitz, linebackers all over the field. And uh, obviously, did not really work out there. Because uh, they targeted the linebacker in coverage. 
That's Claiborne's game right there is making tackles. He's not awful in coverage, but he's not going to play like a slot corner will or even a safety coming down in the box making a play there. As Field's going to take off. Cobb in pursuit. He can't bring him down. The ball flies out and it's recovered by Leonard Williams. Aziz Ojolari was the one who laid the hit and Fields put the football on the turf. What a play to end the third quarter. We got the football back. We've held Chicago to zero points thus far and they've been in positions to score. We just have two critical turnovers, maybe even three if you want to count the Cobb interception earlier. But the Fields fumble... The field's interception to end the second half, it's very possible that Chicago would have 10 points on the board right now, at least. Instead, zero. Defense, man, they're bending a little bit, but they are not breaking. In fact, they are making plays when they have to. I love it. Great stuff. Second and seven for the offense. Good block. Saquon, first down. 52 rushing yards in this game on 13 attempts. And I think in the 15 to 20 range for rushing attempts is probably where we want him per game. Zach Beck going to get touches too. Um, you know, we're going to throw the ball quite a bit. So I, I don't really think we have to run the ball to Saquon more. I think we pretty much find the perfect balance. You know, 15 to 20 touches. Obviously, you know, he goes over that quite a bit. But as long as we're getting him 15 carries a game, I think we're going to win a lot of games doing that. And it sets up third and three back into the backfield. Do we go RPO here? I think we should try it. Beck going to get the ball. And Beck going to push forward. And he is stopped. Yeah, I just didn't like any of the passes there. Thought the handoff was the best move. And we will punt. Fourth and one from the 39. Some people want me to go... QB sneak in these spots. It's like, oh, it's guaranteed to get it. An NFL team is probably not going to do that in this spot, so I don't want to. I like the immersion to be the biggest part of these. I'm not trying to be the most efficient offense of all time in Madden. Otherwise, I'd run fullback dive and quarterback sneak every time. Just not what I want to do. It's not what the series is about. Field's going to take off. Thibodeau, wrap him up. His first sack of the year. Justin Fields, man. I feel like no pressure, and he just tries to escape the pocket. Wasn't the right decision, clearly. Third and eight. This is a big play. This is a big play. Fields had receivers. He's going down the field. And that's broken up by Dory Jackson. The rookie, Glenn Gore, got there as well, although a little bit late. But you can say he helped break that pass up. Brings up fourth down and eight. We're only going to rush four. Montgomery in the backfield, not as a blocker. And Fields going deep and hits Komet, but out of bounds. Or actually, Dawson Knox, excuse me. I was calling him Cole Komet. Cole Komet, I think, is on the Saints now. It's my bad. We're going to take over on offense from the 22. Uh, Fields had the outside receiver just sitting down at the first down marker. Decided not to go his way. And uh, obviously, not the right call as Odell Beckham Jr., will bring things down inside the five-yard line. Cody Bailey looking for that first touchdown of the game. Not sure he's going to get that opportunity, though. We have Saquon Barkley here, and we could easily make this uh, 20 points. Barkley up the gut, touchdown, dagger. I think you got to give credit to our defense, though. They've made so many big plays. I don't think Fields has played especially well, obviously. Two huge turnovers. But you got to give credit to our defense for forcing him into those turnovers. We'll go for two to make it two touchdowns, or three touchdowns, excuse me. And uh, high point, Nick Duvall. <laughs> when you're up 19-0 already, you can afford to do something stupid. We're just throwing a Duvall the entire time, pretty much. And that's why I like to do that. It's successful. It works. Oh, football came loose! Another fumble. Oh my goodness, not even commentating the kick return because who expects a play like that to happen? I tracked that the whole way. Head of steam, I think with Micah McFadden, right? Micah McFadden, usering him pretty much the whole way. Went through one guy, tracking, tracking, tracking. Roads can't bring him down. Energy going down. Boom. 
Micah McFadden levels him. And uh, that's going to be pretty much the ball game here. How could it not be? Four turnovers for the Bears. No slider change, obviously. I think it goes without saying, but maybe not. Sometimes it's just the way the games go. You know, we, uh, we make mistakes, we lose. We don't make mistakes, we win by a lot. Sometimes that's what it is. Big plays by the defense. A lot of fun to play a game like this when things are going well. Um, as we'll try to get it out to Duval and lose yard. Third and 13 for work off play action. Go to the end zone. Odell Beckham Jr. got the feed in, touchdown. And if it wasn't over already, it certainly is now. Odell into the end zone. I feel like it's been a while since we've said that, but Odell's had a great game. I think he's probably very close to 100 yards, if not over, maybe 80. Uh, and, dude, why is Chris Lindstrom back out there? I said play Joshua Azudu. He comes out and gets injured again. He's out the rest of the game. Do not come back in, please. It's 28 nothing in the fourth quarter. If he comes back out again and tears something, I'm going to be furious. No way around it. I will be furious. The screen. Fields throws it into the dirt. We read it the entire way. Sorry, Justin. Not today, son. Not going to happen. Second and 10 from the 23. They're going to run another screen. Oh, my God. Dontrell Cobb got clobbered. They're clobbering. Oh my goodness, the pancakes from the Bears offensive line. I've never seen anything like that. Cobb got taken out. Multiple other players taken out. Looks like Fields doesn't like it if it's not a check down or a screen, though. He's had a rough game. 15 for 22. Doesn't look that bad. But that's why you can't box score scout. You gotta actually watch the game. And it's been pretty clear the way this offense has looked and played. They've been uncomfortable. They've been checking down. They've had a few nice plays in there every now and again, but they've been few and far between. And Fields has looked pretty uncomfortable the entire game. Pretty bad. But yeah, yeah first down, wow. Second down and four. Yeah, we're just sitting down. Throw it, Fields. He's got all day. He's going deep. Darnay's there. It's intercepted. I don't know what the strategy there was. I mean, Fields had all day, and that's what he decided to do. I don't know what the coverage looked like down the field, but surely that was not the right call. Five turnovers by Chicago. Fields has four of them, right? Two interceptions, or three interceptions and a fumble. Yeah. Oh, Saquon fumbled. All right. That's no good. <laughs> the Bears got the football back. A lot of fumbles in this game. Did they did they do something in an update? Saquon has put the football on the ground. I think he fumbled last week as well. He has two fumbles in two weeks. A little bit unusual. Bears now knocking on the door. Quick throw on the slant. Big hit by Boss. McLaurin holds on. And he's really been a non-factor today. Got to give a lot of credit to Adoree Jackson uh, and Darnay Holmes. Our defense in general has played well. But Terry McLaurin has basically played no impact at all. As he scores a touchdown. Darnay Holmes was seeing what the pylon was doing for lunch tomorrow. Stay on the receiver, dude. Wasn't close. Touchdown, Bears. I know we're up 28-7 to still. But, uh... It's like the theory of it all. And they're showing our backup quarterback. I don't even know his name. No idea. Adam something, maybe? And that is the ball game. Ran it out with Saquon Barkley. Couldn't really find any space. Bears run defense. I think was pretty good today, but uh, they end up losing by a bunch. I'm a little bit annoyed at some of our mistakes down the stretch because it's not just about one drive for either our offense or our defense against the team. It's just like, what if that's extrapolated over the course of a game? And I just didn't think we really closed this one out like I wanted to. It, the final drive uh, just kind of puts a sour taste in my mouth a little bit, I would say, but... Overall, we played really well. No real complaints. I'm kind of nitpicking. Cody Bailey goes 19 for 27 for 234 and a touchdown. Very similar day to Justin Fields. He had one fewer completion and one fewer attempt. Had slightly more yards. Um, 
a slightly worse complete uh, completion percentage, but it, basically the same. Both had a touchdown, but it was the field's turnovers that we had seen so frequently from Cody Bailey in his rookie season that we're just not really doing so much. Saquon, 2.8 yards per carry, touchdown, and a fumble. Only broke two tackles today. And their rushing attack, I just don't think they ran the ball as much as they probably should have. Cody Bailey, of course, with that 18-yard rushing touchdown. Nice to see. And then Terry McLaurin basically played no impact. Touchdown at the end, whatever. Odell does end up going over 100 yards on six catches. Had a touchdown as well. Nick Duvall, five for 47. Larry Smith, four for 47. Tony with two for 29. Barkley with a pair of catches as well. Lindstrom got injured. And then uh, overall, how did the rookies play? I can't really say too much about him. I really can't. Uh, Bost made a couple plays. He had a, that big sack earlier. Claiborne had a couple tackles. But Dexter Lawrence, to me, was the defensive MVP in this game. He was really great. Just a couple big plays when we needed them, even if he didn't stuff the stat sheet. Sack for Thibodeau and Bost, of course. Half a sack for Cooper and Lawrence. And then picks for Dory Jackson, Darnay Holmes, and Dontrell Cobb with forced fumbles. Four, Aziz Ojolari and Micah McFadden, one recovered by Leonard Williams, and then three pass deflections for Dory Jackson. He was all over the place. But just a good performance from our team in prime time, under the lights. We got it done. Eric McCoy, just pretty good all around. Um, I think I would never be mad about more run blocking, especially up the middle. So plus one run blocking and plus two strength is fantastic for Eric McCoy. And then Akeel Edmonds has got to be faster and better in coverage, for sure. I'm going to go hybrid. He jumps up to a 76 overall. Show me man end zone. All right, cool. And finally, an ability slot. Bench press. I mean, all right. That's like, <laughs> can't really do a whole lot, to be fair. And in week three, we will face... The guy we passed on in the draft, not really, but we just didn't trade up for him. You guys know what I mean. Similar situation to Daniel Brinkley. If you recall, you guys might remember Daniel Brinkley. I would say about 50% of the chat wanted Daniel Brinkley, maybe even a little bit more than that. But we ended up trading down, not taking him in the draft. Uh, and it's different this time in the fact it's another DB, although this time a safety. Uh, we didn't trade down and pass on him. We just didn't trade all the way up to get him. But he will be playing. He will be starting very fast. He can definitely run, no doubt about that. But good in coverage, too. He's a good player, and I think he should be starting over Terrell Edmonds, so we'll see. But thank you so much for watching the video. Hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next one. Take it easy.